What is up guys, I'm Cash with Cash Style Cars and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to install race seats in a car with stock sliders. Let's get started. The first thing to do is obviously to remove your old seats from your car. Next measure the bolt pattern on the seats that you're trying to put into your car. Make sure you do this very accurately as you're going to be using these measurements to make some very precise brackets later. Also, it's important to note that the bolt pattern might not be a perfect square, so measure them in each direction. Once you've got your bolt pattern for the aftermarket seats, go ahead and look at the stock seats with the stock sliders. Measure the bolt pattern where the stock seats attach to these sliders. Then you could go ahead and remove the sliders from the stock seats that they're on. You might have to readjust the sliders as you do this to gain access to all the bolts. Now it's time to start making the brackets, which will serve as an adapter for the stock sliders. The first step to this is to cut yourself a piece of steel that is longer than the front to back distance of the new seat and the slider's bolt pattern. It's important to note that the length and width of this adapter will vary depending on your car and seat's bolt pattern. Next, mark your steel for drilling. Here you are essentially making up for the distance and length and width of the aftermarket seats bolt pattern so it fits on the stock sliders when the aftermarket seats are bolted to this adapter. Here's an example I made up to hopefully make this as clear as possible and as easy to understand as possible. To figure out where you need to drill, first mark up the brackets for the part with the larger bolt pattern. Then subtract the width of the smaller bolt pattern from the larger one and divide by 2 to distribute the difference between the two brackets. Offset the placement of the brackets so the mounting points don't interfere. Once you have your adapters all marked up and laid out, center punch them for accurate drilling. Then you could drill out your adapters. I started out with the small center drill and then stepped up the sizing. Once your holes are drilled, it's a good idea to deburr them to get rid of any sharp edges. Depending on your specific car and seat combo, you might have to countersink some of the holes in the bracket to make sure that they sit flush to give you some extra room. Once your adapters are all done, go ahead and install them on your aftermarket seats. Then install the sliders to these seats with the newly installed brackets. Make sure that everything is properly tightened down between both the adapter in the seat and the sliders to the adapter. Also, it's a good idea to use high quality hardware to avoid the risk of them breaking in a crash. Then you could place your seat in your car. Now the slider should match up with the factory holes. Reinstall the seat bolts and tighten them down and you're done. I hope this video is helpful and gives you an idea of how to run aftermarket seats with stock sliders. Don't forget to like this video if you liked it and subscribe for more. As always, thank you for watching.